Welcome to Verdi training video program. In this section, I will introduce how to use the NCompare utility to compare different FATP files. Now let's see what you can expect to learn from this video. Firstly, we will talk about what is the simplest way to compare all signals in two FATP files if the design hierarchy and signal names are the same. Then we will see how to use the NCompare GUI to view the error report and to analyze the mismatch in Verdi waveform view. In the last, we will see how to use the rule file to configure the comparison and use it to match different design hierarchies and signal names. Verdi provides the simple comparison capability in the waveform view to compare specific signals. However, if we like to compare lots of signals or the whole scope in the design, or like to set some more advanced configurations, then using the uncompare utility is usually the better choice. The uncompare can be used as a GUI feature in Verdi or as a batch more utility. In the first scenario of this video, let's assume that we had two FADB files which are generated from different versions of the simulator, which means these two FADB had the same design hierarchy but the value may not be the same due to different simulator behaviors or different input vectors. Now let's see how we can use and compare to do this comparison. In this case, we can use the dash FATB option to read these two FATB files, and then compare will use the default rule to do comparison for all signals and then generate a report under the default directory. Now let's see the simple demo for this. Assuming we had two FATB files, the first one is CPU.FATB and the second one is CPU2.FATB. Then we can use uncompare-FATB option to read these two FATB. Now from the console, we can see the comparison was done and then we can directly review the report. The default report name will be default.nce under the uncompare log directory. This is very similar as the div command Unix, so you can directly review the report by any editor. However, viewing in the Verdi GUI is a recommended way, and you can also use the strong debugging capability in Verdi to further analyze the report. In Verdi, you can go to the waveform view and invoke the command from tools uncompare to open the uncompare GUI. Now let's read the report file which was just generated by uncompare utility. Let's invoke the command from file and open error file. The default comparison result will be saved under the uncompare log directory. The default name will be default.nce file. By default, all the errors will be sorted by time. You can read the signal name, the value, and the mismatch period from this report. But since we already in the very GUI, the more intuitive way is to view the error in the waveform view. You can just simply double click the arrow, then the mismatch will be displayed in the waveform view automatically. And from this signal pane, you can know that the first signal comes from the first FSDB and the other signal comes from the second FSDB. And in the waveform pane, the mismatch period will be marked as red color so you can easily know when the arrow happened and when it finished. And in this report window, you can use the toolbar icon to jump to the next arrow, or jump back to the previous arrow, or jump to the last arrow, or jump back to the first arrow. You can also turn on this Sync Waveform View icon. After you turn it on, the selection in the report window will be automatically added to the waveform view. And besides sorting the arrows by time, the report can also be sorted by design hierarchy. We can turn on this view by hierarchy icon to change the sorting mechanism. Now as you can see, the arrows will be sorted by design hierarchy. Again, we can click any arrow to display it on the waveform view automatically. In this demo, we use the dash FSDB option in uncompare to directly compare all signals in the FSDB. This can be used to compare two FSDB files, which has the same design hierarchy. But what if the two FATB files had different hierarchy or different signal names? In the second scenario, we want to compare the arterial FSDB and the gate level FSDB. Some hierarchies and bus signals has been flattened in the gate level FSDB, so lots of signal names has been changed. In that case, we can create a rule file to constrain the comparison. 
Usually the rule of file extension name will be ncr. Now let's see another demo to load a simple ncr file and see what should be contained in this rule file. Now let's open Verdi. Again we can go to tools, uncompare to open the uncompare GUI. We can click this icon to load a simple ncr file. There are three must-have commands in the ncr file. The first one is the cmp open fsdb command. This command is used to specify the golden and secondary fsdb to be compared. The second must-have command is the cmp set signal pair command. You can use this command to tell and compare which signal should be compared. The input can be the signal if the name is the same between two fsdb files. The input can also be two different signal names, since the name may be different between RTO and gate level netlist. Or it can be the scope. If you specify the scope, all signals under this scope will be compared. And the NCR file is tickle based, so you can also use the for loop or regular expression to specify the signal of this command. The last must have command is the CMP compare. It tells uncompare to execute the comparison and it should be put after all configurations are done. Besides these three must-have commands, there are lots of optional commands can be used to configure the comparison. For example, you can use this CMP set delimiter command to set the hierarchy delimiter. If you don't set it, then that will be used as default. And you can use the set CMP option command to set some additional options. For example, the maximum mismatch you want to see. And you can also use this CMP set compare trigger to specify the triggering clock and its setup and hold time. You can even use the CMP set name map command to set the global mapping rule if lots of signal names has been changed in the gate level netlist. And besides these frequently used commands, there are lots of more optional commands you can use to do advanced configuration. And you can check the documentation to get all detailed commands. And if you like to add a new command, you can just select a command from the toolbar icon. For example, now we want to use the CMP set compare option command to specify some extra options. We can directly select it from the toolbar. The command has been added and you can see its syntax and available arguments in the command help. And we can also add the command by directly typing the command name in GUI. The GUI supports the auto completion for commands. For example, if we input CMP set here, then all the command match this string will be listed and you can select the exact command directory. And the detailed syntax of this command will also be displayed in the button for your reference. Now we have specified all commands we need in the rule file. Notice that all commands have to be specified before the CMP compare command. Now let's click this wrong icon to execute the comparison according to this rule file. Now the comparison is done and you can view the mismatch report in GUI. Now let's see what we have learned from this video. Firstly, we use the uncompare-fatb option to go through comparison for two FATB files without any setting and then view the generated NCE file. Then we use the uncompare GUI to view the NCE file. Then we use the uncompare GUI to view the NCE file, so the mismatch by time and by design hierarchy. And we also use the Verdi waveform view to analyze the mismatch. In the last, we use the uncompare GUI to specify must-have and optional commands to configure the comparison. And we use the rule file to create signal mapping between RTO and gate level files. This is the end of the video. Thank you for your time.